I thought Iowa played um, really well and made some shots. Um, obviously, after the first quarter, we started extremely well. Um, I think our foul shooting, our foul trouble got us in trouble. And uh, when we had to play without our point guard for the second quarter, um, Iowa was e able to have a really big quarter on us. And the rest of the game was uh, pretty balanced. So they did a great job. I thought they made the plays they had to make. I thought their inside kids did a really nice job on us. Um, and it was a, a great basketball game. Right here. Kim, um, how difficult was it? were those guys inside to play against today? We knew that was going to be a really tough matchup. Um, I, I've been talking the last few days how uh, – Gustafson has really improved throughout the course of the season. Um, and we've gotten to play him three times, so we've watched her get better considerably each time. And we knew that uh, Coley was going to be a, ma a hard matchup for us. She was the first two times, too. Um, we decided to go small to pressure early, and we think uh, obviously it worked for us. We had a really great um, first quarter. Um, but I think they wore us down, and that's something that we had been able to do. And we, when we thought when we c cut it in the fourth quarter, we were in pretty good shape, and uh, we couldn't get the stops down the stretch when we needed to. Um, but I think they wore Hallie down a little bit. I mean, she came out and had a great, great first quarter, um, but really wasn't able to sustain that. Um, having two kids her size instead of one, they were constantly able to really go at her on the defensive end and also the offensive end. They really made it tough because she had to defend the entire time as well. Anything else for Coach? Right here? Right here? Go ahead. Go, no, okay. go ahead. Um, the fact that uh, they were coming at her when she was on defense, that made it more difficult for her offensively too, right? That wore down, definitely. And I think that's something, you know, when we always talk as a, as a staff or as a team or even with Hallie individually, you know, her biggest growth um, between this season and next season, I think, is going to be on the defensive end and her strength. She's obviously an incredible scorer, has incredible hands, great touch around the rim, as you guys got to see tonight. But defensively, she's got to get better. She's never really had to do that before this season. And um, as tough as it looked tonight, she has improved. But she still has got a way to go. So when you have to play, against two bigs down on defense and then come and try to do it down on the offensive end. You know, if you're not incredible, have an incredibly high level of fitness and uh, an incredible motor, you get worn down. And I think she did tonight. Um, and that was tough for us because we really were able to go to her in the first quarter and down the fourth quarter, it wasn't, it, it wasn't as effective. Right here. Coach, with Sierra having to leave the game in the first quarter, um, you lose arguably your best perimeter defender. Um, what did you try to do as a team to make up for that loss on the defensive end? Well, I don't think that we did make up for the loss. <laughs> um, the second quarter was really tough for us without her in the game. Not only is she our best defender, um, I, I also think that she runs our team. And now we had to put a point guard it, as a freshman, a point guard in a position to have to run our team for the remainder of the first quarter and then the second quarter and boogie. And that she's not experienced really at that position as well. So when we lost Sierra, um, that was a really tough quarter for us. And it's interesting, Sierra's never in foul trouble. She never probably has, I don't know if she's ever had three all season long. Um, maybe one time she's been in foul trouble and fouled out this year. So I thought they did a good job of really attacking her and drawing those fouls. And it's funny because early on we asked the officials to look at it because I thought she was getting hooked. But Disterhoff did a great job of drawing attention to that and really taking advantage of that matchup and drawing fouls on C, and uh, that really hurt us. We kept her in because you saw what happened when she was out, so we knew that um, we were going to have to keep her in, but they just continued to attack her, and uh, we got unlucky with that call, and that was a big turning point in the game. But I think, you know, we, we're at the point now if someone comes out, so other people have an opportunity to step up, and, and we weren't really able to take advantage of that today. Take one more. Do you talk about their freshman, Tanaya, because in that second quarter is when she started bringing them back with some of her passes. And then in the fourth quarter when you got within two and then still at six, I think 
with the shot clock down, she found Coley for a big basket. And then right after that, a transition, it started widening. Yeah, she um, she's a really good player. Uh, obviously, we know she's a really good player. We've watched her for a really long time, and I've wa and we played against them. And I've watched her on film all season. And she's like our freshman, where she'll make some mistakes and then she makes some great plays. I think the difference probably between her and Boogie or her and some of our other freshmen at this time, like Nicole Munger, is that she became their starting point guard about midway through their season, if not earlier. So now she's played the whole Big Ten season as the starting point guard of their team because that's the role she had to play on their team. So I think she's gained experience over the Big Ten regular season schedule, and she's playing really well for them right now. She's she's done a great job. They're a similar team to us. They have young kids, a young post, a young point guard, um, as we do. So I, I thought it was going to be a great matchup today. Thank you, Coach.